All right, so I've got a little bit of a sad story here. So if you've been a fan of my channel, you'll know that I basically have a farm. I have chickens, ducks, pigs, goats, horses, pretty much any farm animal you can imagine. But the closest animals to me are my dogs. I have three dogs. I have a German Shepherd, I have a Corgi, and I have a Beagle. So I love them all very, very much, but the Beagle is probably my favorite. Even though the German Shepherd is my dog, the Beagle, I just love Beagles. I don't know what it is, but they're just one of the best dogs ever. And so she's about four years old now, and she's the only one that's allowed to sleep in our bed. So she sleeps with me at night. So just like humans, dogs are supposed to go to the vet and get their vaccines and their flea and tick medicine and their heart guard to prevent heart issues from worms and things like that. So we do that every single year. It costs a fortune, but we do it. And like I said, Luna sleeps in the bed with me. So just the other day I woke up and I saw a tick crawling on my leg and I freaked out because she has all the tick and flea medicine. She should not have ticks. And yet she brought one into my house, into my bed, and worse yet, onto me. So my wife called and scheduled an appointment to the vet to tell him we need something else. Clearly it's not working. So this happened last Friday. Obviously, if you play Fortnite, we were getting ready for season two. I was trying to grind some end of season one footage. So my wife takes the Corgi and the Beagle, her name is Luna, into the vet while I'm at home recording videos for my daily uploads. She calls me, she says everything's fine. They gave Luna some kind of shot to prevent the flea and tick. Plus they put this brand new collar on her. It was a lime green collar, very thin, but it was supposed to repel ticks. And they did the same for the Corgi. So everything was fine. My wife called, other than the price, it was like $500 for that. That's more money than it cost for me to go to the doctor. I was so outraged at the prices from the vet. But anyway, regardless, they needed it because you don't want them to have fleas or ticks or anything wrong with their heart. So my wife called, said everything was fine. She's coming home and she's bringing the dogs and that was that. So meanwhile, I'm again playing Fortnite. I was grinding some videos and I was in literally a top three situation. Top three situation. Again, this was back in season one, so there was building. Now I play in the closet. That is my gaming room. I have a million subs and I play in the closet. So my wife throws open my closet door and says, you need to get off right now. And I'm like, what? What's going on? And she says, something's wrong with Luna. And so again, I'm on the closet floor here. So I peer out the door and Luna just looks horrible. Now the best way I could describe this is she looked like a wicked witch. So if you've ever seen a beagle, just a beautiful little face. One of the best looking dogs in my opinion. But she did not look like that. Her face was like triple the size and it was all wrinkly and bubbly and warty, almost like a wicked witch. That's the best way I could describe it. And she literally just plopped over almost like she just died. I mean, she literally just fell over and her breathing was just all over the place. I mean, it freaked me out. I have never seen a dog act like that. And it was almost like she was itching. She was trying to Scratch an unitchable itch is what it looked like. It was so weird, almost like she was having a seizure, not being able to breathe, everything swollen on her entire body. I mean, she didn't even move other than trying to scratch that itch. It was so bizarre. So as I said, I was recording a video. So I was in a top three situation and this all got picked up on the mic. So I'm gonna play this for you here because you can hear the panic in our voices. We're like, what is going on here? Now, obviously I can't remember if I backed out or if I died because I, obviously put my controller down and go check on the dog. But regardless, I lost the match. I was in a top three situation and I lost the match, but I got it all recorded in the background. So here's what happened. Let me play this for you and then I'll tell you the conclusion. I need you to get off for a second. I think Luna's wrong. With who? Luna. Why? She looks like Ivy. Her face looks swollen. She's itchy. She's like rolling all over the place. What? Look, like she's not herself. Uh, what, what did they give her? I don't know. Well, you better take her back. 
Hey, what happened? Okay. So I had to pick the kids up, so my wife took Luna back to the hospital herself, and she was crying hysterically on the way because we thought for sure Luna was going to die. My wife said she wasn't moving, she was barely breathing, in the car she just kind of keeled over, and it was horrible. So she got to the vet, she's carrying Luna in their arms, she's running up to the door, they rushed out. They rushed out of the animal hospital, grabbed her from my wife's arms, and took her straight back, didn't tell my wife anything, just boom, picked her up, and back to the emergency situation back there. So that's how severe it was. So I don't know if you guys have ever lost a dog before, but it is brutal. I mean, especially if you grew up with them, if they've lived for half your life, it's just awful. So when I was young, my dad died when I was in high school, and that's the most I've ever cried in my life. But when I had my family dog die, it was on par with me losing my dad. That's how bad it was. To watch the dog get put down because he was basically at the end of life and couldn't even move anymore. It was horrible. And I'm sure most, if not all of you, can relate to that kind of pain. It's awful. And that's all I could think about was, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my dog. She's going to die all because of some stupid shot to prevent fleas and ticks. It's just mind boggling. I mean, I couldn't even process it. So I'm texting my wife. Have you heard anything yet? Have you heard? Have they said anything? And she said, nope, they didn't tell me anything. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. So about three hours later, they said, I think she's going to be okay. So they pumped her full of all kinds of medicine, of steroids and things like that. And basically they said it was a severe allergic reaction to one of the two things. They weren't sure which one, either that collar they put on or the shot that they gave her. And they said five to 10 minutes later and she would have been dead. It's almost like a peanut allergy. You know, if someone's deathly allergic to peanuts, you gotta get the EpiPen out and shove it right in their leg or otherwise they're gonna die. And that's exactly what happened to her. So thank goodness we were near her and witnessed all these symptoms she had. Otherwise, she would have been gone. So there is a happy ending, thankfully. Uh, I've never been so scared in my life for one of my animals. But here's a video I recorded. This is about one and a half hours after she came home. And you could tell she just wasn't herself. She wasn't wagging her tail. She wasn't really moving. She was still recovering. But again, they had just pumped her full of all kinds of meds and stuff like that. So here's the video I recorded right after. Unfortunately, I didn't record any videos of her when she had all these symptoms, but I wish I could have shown you. Just her face, it was just unearthly, almost alien-like. It was so bizarre. So long story short, at least she survived, and that was a scary situation. So here's the live video clip post-emergency room visit for my little sweet Luna. So here's Miss Luna. Here's Miss Lily. Look at my Among Us socks. <laughs> so she's how many hours after? About one and a half hours from being home from the hospital. Still looking pathetic, right, sister? What happened to your sissy? She's all tired out, I think. They pumped her full of all kinds of medicine, so. Are you okay? How are we doing? Where's your boo boos? Hmm? That's where they put the IV in her. That's Wrigley growling. She doesn't look herself normal. She's wagging her tail and everything. Will you be okay? Will you be okay? She doesn't want to play right now. Sorry. Poor girl. You should have seen her face. I mean, it was all like... And the vet literally said... Hey! Literally said she would have died had we not brought her in. Anaphylactic Ooh. shot. Really, Riggs? Nobody's getting near your food. You hear that? She's being tough over there. She thinks she's tough. Lily! So there you go. That's the story of Miss Luna. Recovering. Look at those sad eyes. Why are you looking at Ellie? Cute dog. Oh, I see your cute dog. It sounds like my dog's trying to eat her. And a sad face. Why are you looking that way? Well, you be okay. Let me see a tail wig. Can I have a tail wig, please? Can I have a tail wig? Okay, baby, you be okay. We do love you. You make it. Poor girl. All right.